confident last night. But, but, according to entrepreneur and musician Levi Roots, this momentous achievement is only the beginning. And he joins us in the studio now. Good morning to you. Good morning, Stephen. Can I just say, first and foremost, by heavens, you look sharp. <laughs> you look I love that. Sharp. That's a great start, Rosie. I've got to say that. Oh, that's it's up. Brilliant. Wow. It's made me, like, nice and relaxed I'm to be I'm so <laughs> impressed. Um, look, I mean, you've been really backing the Reggae Warriors, haven't you, have, in, yes. all, in all of this. And yeah. that, they made history, even sort of... Getting where they got to. Yeah, they, they have. And, and you know, as they, they probably lost the game on the pitch, but I, I think they won the people's arts. You know, I was there at the game yesterday and it was absolutely amazing to see them even score two tries. It, that was the winning part of it because I don't think the game yesterday or during the tournament is about today. It's about the future and what they can do for, for rugby league. Yeah. It is still bitterly disappointing though not to be progressing yeah. any further. Yeah. Just tell us what it was like watching that and see it all slightly unfold. Well, I think we knew that in this going to be difficult for Jamaica because I think for me, you know, when I was a kid, if you throw me a rugby ball, I'd be saying, pass me the pump, let me blow it up and make <laughs> yeah. it round. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because no one had played, played rugby when, you know, when, I was, when I was quite young in Jamaica. So it's great to see the lads in Jamaica who are playing, who are actually playing on concrete. They're using PVCs, poles, to, mm. to, to tape that onto the goalpost of, of soccer, soccer goalposts to make that into rugby. So for them to qualify for this, you know, the World Cup finals of rugby league is absolutely amazing. So watching the team was just seeing the inspiration and feeling the inspiration that they brought to the game. And I think everyone, even the Lebanon supporters, were cheering Jamaica when they scored their two tries. There's, there's something about... Jamaica and actually a lot of Caribbean nations somehow there's, there's there's there seems to be a joyous quality to the people of the Caribbean that when they and they're getting stuck into something which hasn't happened before and it just bring a pleasure. You want to you you want to wish them well somehow. Yes, absolutely. It, it's called the Talawa. You know, we oh. in Jamaican say it's our superpower. Right. <laughs> and, <laughs> and all Jamaicans know about the Talawa. It's that thing saying that we we're small but we're strong. We're stoic, you know, and we're resilient but gentle at the same time. Mm. And I think this is what people like Usain Bolt uses when he's on the track. And and I try to install this into the into the rugby league team because a lot of these lads are actually British lads. You know who are part of the diaspora, where moms and dads are, are Jamaican. And I think it's, it's taken a little bit of time for them to feel what it is to be Jamaican, to get that Talawa feel. And it was certainly on the field yesterday when they, when they scored their two tries. It was absolutely amazing. Mm. And you've been part of the sort of inspiration story yeah. by writing this single. I did one dream, one team, you know. Again, it was about trying for them to understand what it is to, to, to be Jamaican. I, I wrote about the, you know, the Jamaican national anthem. I wrote about out of many one people, which is part of the coat of arms. Because a lot of these lads are actually, as says, born here. So it was important for them to feel that they're playing, not just for themselves, but they're playing for Jamaica. And I think they really did that. It was absolutely, and scored against New Zealand as well in the last round, which yeah. is the most amazing oh, thing yeah. that <laughs> That's got to be sweet. How, how important is it for someone like you to get involved in all this? Because, I mean, your, your turnaround story, in a, like, to, from, you know, sort of humble beginnings, if I can put it that way, yeah. perhaps a sort of bit of a troubled youth and what have you, to become, you know, who you are and this, this huge name and, you know, very, hugely successful... Um, I mean, that must be hu very inspirational for, for people to then to take your guidance. Well, I remember when I was about to go on Dragon's Den to make my fame, you know, and, and I said, I want to be me. I wanted to take the guitar. I wanted to put music and food together. Everybody said, no, Levi, don't take the guitar. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. not about, you know, it's, it's not X Factor or anything. This is a show about business and enterprise. But I've always said that it's easier when you're you, you know, mm -hmm. when you are the true you. And that's why I went as me and I, and I sang on, on the show. And I think for these boys, you know, I said to them, be yourself. Mm. And writing the song was just trying to help them for them to feel that this is not about winning the game. It's about winning the arts of the people. And I, yeah. and I really think they did that. Yeah, and your pitch, so many of us are 